And so what, is it, what does a DEXA scan give us? Well, a DEXA scan actually gives us what's called a T-score. So if you've had a DEXA scan, you're probably familiar with this score that we call a T-score. But when you get a bone density test, the results are reported um, as a T-score, which indicates how far away your bone density is from the normal. And the normal is based on the bone density expected for an average healthy person at the age of 30. Because again, um, peak bone mass typically is reached by the age of 30. So your T-score is gonna be given to you in a, a number basically on a, scale, on a scale from four positive um, through four negative. So if you end up with um, a T-score say in the spine of a positive 1.0, that's normal. Anything that is above a negative one T-score all the way up is considered normal, so you're in the green. Low bone density is from negative one to negative 2.5. That's the kind of yellow light. That's your warning sign that we're having some bone loss. And if we don't stop, it's probably going to move into the red area, which is negative 2.5 or below, which is, a, which is ultimately a diagnosis of osteoporosis. And the way I kind of like to explain T-scores, because they really don't mean anything to anybody. I mean, a T-score of negative one doesn't really tell you a whole lot, but it can be very roughly correlated to percent bone density. So. What I mean by that is if you have a negative one T-score, you essentially have like a 10% loss of normal bone density. If you have a positive one, you have essentially 10% more than normal bone density or negative 2.5, which is where we, the cutoff for osteoporosis, basically equates to about a 25% bone loss. So it's a very rough guesstimate, but it mean, it, it, thinking of it that way means a whole lot more than just a, a random number. So that is how we interpret T-scores, and those T-scores come um, from a DEXA scans.